Hello, my name is Jan Thielemann and today I want to talk about web services in Idempierre. Um, the web services are not new, they already existed in Idempierre. And um, to use them in Idempierre you have to do um, yeah, some steps to get this working. Especially if you're on an older version of Idempierre, you have to activate them. So what you do to um, activate them is you go to your um, app server on the web port you configured. Then you go to the Felix um, web console. Um, I can access it if I go to my um, app server and then click it on Felix console. And then you have to enter the super user credentials and it will lead you to um, this page. And here you get a list of all the OSGI bundles running in your server. Scroll down. Um, nearly at the bottom, there's a web service bundle. Make sure it's active. If it's not active, um, like this one, simply hit the start button and it should start. And uh, also install the, um, the two pack if necessary. After you installed the web services, you should get a web service security window. Um, I'm here on Garden World. And you get a second window, which is some um, web service definition, I believe, but this is only available in system, in the system client. So, um, yeah, after you um, started this, um, yeah, you basically can use the web service in item Pierre. And the great thing is that you don't need to write a single line of code to um, use them. You can access the web service via this address. Just um, enter your app server address followed by ad interface slash services and it will provide you with all the endpoint addresses you can use. We have the, um, the default, default web services which are the model ad services um, which provide you with some different methods you can use to create, update, delete models, run processes, uh, query data, um, read data, get um, get reference lists from the um, AD reference table, uh, set document actions um, to process documents. You can um, yeah do all the model stuff with this web service. Then you got the composite service. And the, the great thing here is that you can bundle different model AD services together. So you can um, make a business partner and the business partner location and the C location in one single call. And the great thing is you can even use the return value, which is um, the, um, the table's um, key column in most of the cases, I believe. You can use these columns as variables in the other requests in the same call. So I can create a business partner and use, um, for example, dollar C underscore B partner underscore ID as the CB partner ID in the call where I create the um, business partner location. Okay, um, then we also have um, RESTful web services. These both here are SOAP based web services. And if you, for whatever reason, need a um, REST based web service, you can use this one. But be careful, um, what you have to do to use them is to um, yeah, use the XML file you would normally use for the, um, for the SOAP services and put them, uh, give them to the REST web service. So in my opinion, that's not really um, RESTful, but um, yeah, it works. Um, personally, I have never had the need to use them, so I'm not so familiar with them but I'm uh, pretty familiar with the SOAP based um, web services, especially the model ID service. And yeah, the composite services are yeah just to bundle different um, model ID services in one call. Another great thing here is um, when you use the composite service is if one of the um, model ID service calls inside one composite call fails, you get a complete rollback for free. And this is great. So yeah, how can I use them? Um, in the next few videos, I want to um, go over each method step by step and explain it and show you how to use them. But um, for this video, I have already created a simple web service, which I called get B partners. Um, 
which obviously will um, give me my business partners. I use the query data method and here you have to, um, to differ a little bit. We have the read data and we have the query data. And the read data will give you only one entry or zero entries. And the query data web service can give you many um, entries in the response. So what I did here is um, I configured some parameters. I will talk about these in the, um, in the next few videos where I explain all the different uh, methods. Then I have some input fields, which I can use for filtering in the query data. I have the output fields and here I specify which fields the web service should return to me in the answer. And I have this um, web service access where I specified that the web service execution role can execute this web service. Now the next step is to um, create a call which I already did here. I use um, SOAP UI for this. Um, you can download it for free. It's um, open source, I believe. Um, just go to soapui.org and uh, hit download SOAP UI. And there are also um, other tools like um, load testing, um, a load testing suite for this. But um, for me, um, SOAP UI will do the job. And as you see here, um, I can um, create a new project and here I will paste this um, this endpoint address simply here, hit OK. And um, SOAP UI will automatically um, find out which um, methods I can use and it will also create me um, requests for this. So I can open it and here you see the um, the blank request. Uh, don't worry if yours uh, looks a little bit different. Um, I'm running a customized version of item Pierre where I have um, yeah, added um, a paging functionality and um, yeah, did some other stuff so that, it, um, that I get here these um, optional tags if uh, something is optional. Okay, but back to my call just to show it to you. Um, I have my query data call and this one I have to provide a model request and a login request. And here I specify the service type, which is the name of my um, web service, which I configured in the application dictionary. And here I want to load only um, Joe block. So I can use column, um, the field with column equals name and column equals value to filter. Uh, here you have to um, to notice that this is not possible to use a wildcard. So I cannot uh, do something like this. And as you see, if I run it, I will get zero results um, because it looks for exactly this string you entered here. Also, if I just put Joe in it, it won't work. If I put a star in it, it won't work. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I have specified two input fields I can use, the name and the value field, but I don't have to use them both. So I can um, remove this one and just search for entries with the name Joe Block. And ta-da, there's Joe Block again. I also can remove the whole data row like this, and then um, I will have no filter at all. And if I run it, I get all the business partners. Okay, so um, that's just to show you um, how it works. And yeah, I see you in the next video where I explain each web service step by step.